Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this edition, we will cover Google I.O., Jetpack Compose 1.8, Android 16 Beta 4, Play Console Insights, and Android Vital Metrics. The Google I.O. agenda is live. Here's a sneak peek of what will be covered. You'll learn how Gemini models enable you to build new applications and unlock new levels of productivity. We will cover how to craft exceptional app experiences across devices with Android. We'll cover new features that accelerate web development and help you build richer, more reliable experiences, and more. We'll kick things off with the Google Keynote at 10 a.m. PT on May 20th, followed by the Developer Keynote at 1.30 p.m. PT. Then join us for on-demand sessions and code labs on May 22nd. Check out the post for more information and sneak peeks of what is to come. Jetpack Compose 1.8 is here. This release includes new features, API updates, and bug fixes. The Compose 1.8 release supports the integration of autofill, enabling users to fill out forms, login screens, and checkout processes without manually typing in every detail. Another fun addition is autosize. When placing text inside a container, you can now use the autosize parameter in basic text to let the text size automatically adapt to the container size. Check out the post to learn more about autofill, autosize, and all the other goodies in Compose 1.8. Android 16 Beta 4 is out. This is our second platform stability release and the developer APIs and all app-facing behaviors are final. Apps targeting Android 16 can be made available in Google Play. Beta 4 includes our latest fixes and optimizations, giving you everything you need to complete your testing. The Android 16 beta is now available on devices on multiple form factors from our partners at IQOO, Lenovo, OnePlus, Sharp, Oppo, Realme, Vivo, Xiaomi, and Honor. Note that if you develop an SDK, library, tool, or game engine, it's even more important to prepare any necessary updates now to prevent your downstream app and game developers from being blocked by compatibility issues and allow them to target the latest SDK features. Check out the post for the full list of features and behavior changes. The Google Play Console has a redesigned app dashboard that centralized quality focus metrics, helping you improve app performance and user experience. The dashboard groups metrics into four core developer objectives, test and release, monitor and improve, grow users, and monetize with play. A new notification center helps you stay up to date with your account and apps. New metrics include pre-review checks for incorrect edge-to-edge -edge rendering, a low memory kill metric, and excessive wake locks in Android vitals. Check out the post for more details about performance and a link to the What's New in Play console page. Android Vitals adds a new excessive wake lock metric, helping you improve app performance and reduce unnecessary battery use. Check out the post for an explanation as to how the metric defines excessive wake locks, a link to the documentation, and a place to leave your feedback on the metrics definition. This feedback is important as it will be used to refine the metrics before general availability. Okay, that's it for today with Google I.O., Jetpack Compose 1.8, Android 16 Beta 4, Play Console Insights, and Android Vital Metrics. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And see you next time for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.